Hello guys, welcome to Destined to Win Tutorials. Today I'm going to be taking a topic on number bases, which um, is a request by a student who watched um, this uh, my uh, video on I think he saw the video on Naira Land and um, he's a Naira Lander and he requested for this particular topic that he need he, he needs to understand it better. He's usually he, he gets confused in it. So this topic um, is quite difficult, I must confess. It's quite difficult because most students do usually fail it and they don't really understand it properly. So uh, we have division of number, no, uh, in no, uh, normal number base. There's the method in which you use. And also when you're doing binary division, that's base two. There's also another method. So this topic is on several number, like several bases. And I'm going to do another video on the binary division. That's div dividing in base two. So here, how do we do this? Now we have this particular, I'm going to treat like four examples so we can understand it better. So we have 134 base five divided by four base five. For us to be able to do this, we must create our multiplication table for four base five. Now, how do we do this? Just like our normal multiplication table, 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 2, and all. But this now, it will be in base 5. We have to create the multiplication table to enable us to do this division. We are going to be using the method, normal method of division by using our normal standard, that's uh, ordinary base, that which is base 10, by using that. But with this, is we have to add the... The way we do, I, know, I hope you watch the video on addition, multiplication of number bases, and subtraction of number bases because we're going to apply this in division. That's why it's quite difficult because you have to apply multiplication, division, and also addition in uh, number bases to division of number bases. So, here let's create our table. So, our times table. So, 4 base 5 times 0 will give us what? A 0. And 4 base 5 times 1 base 5, it will give us a 4 in base 5. And 4 base 5 times 2 base 5, this will be 4 times 2, 8. And 8 is greater than 5. So how many times would 5 go in 8? It will go what? 1 times remainder 3, which is 5. So 4 times 2 in base 5 is what? 13 base 5, not the normal 8. So here we have what? 4 times 5, 4 base 5 times 3 base 5, which will be what? 4 times 3 is 12. How many times would 5 go in 12? It will go 1 times remainder. No, no, no. It will go how many times? 2 times remainder what? 2 base 5. Now we also have 4 base 5 times 4 base 5. So this 4 times 4 is 16. How many times would 5 go in 16? It will go 3 times remainder 1 base 5. So 4 times 4 in base 5 is what? 31 base 5. And we also have here 4 in base 5 times 5 base 5. That's 4 times 5 will give us 20. How many times would 5 go in 20? 4 times remainder 0. So 4 times 5 um, in base 5 is what 40 base 5 so here we can now go forward to do our division so let's draw this the way we know our division 134 base 5 so here 4 in 1 is what is a 0 you can either put this 0 or you can say 4 in 13 but let me let me just do this we'll put a 0 let's take the standard process and 0 times 4 is what? A 0. Let's do perform the minus. This will come. We bring down what? 3. 4 in 13. 4 base 5 in 13 base 5. This is it. Where we have what? 4 times 2 giving us 13 base 5. So 4 in 13 base 5 is what? 2. So write 2 down. 2 times 4 in base 5 is what? 13 base 5. So let's subtract this. We get a 0. And let's bring down our 4 here. And we have 4. And 4 in 4 is what? Is 1. Right? Because 4 times 1 is what? 4. See 4 base 5. 
so we have what one one times this we bring down our four and we have a zero so the division of one four one three four base five over four base five is equal to 21 base 5. If you multiply this back in base 5, you're going to get 134 base 5. That's if you multiply 4 base 5 times 21 base 5. Here we have another example. Let's do this. This is still in 4. 4 base 5. That's we are still working on the multiplication table of 4. So we have what? 1, 2, 1, 4. And this is 4 in base 5 so 4 in 1 will not go so let's just say 4 in 12 will go how many times how many times would 4 in 12 go 4 in 12 will go 1 times that's 4 times 1 is what 4 base 5 and this is you know here this 4 times 2 is 13 which is greater than 12 so we go 1 1 times this is what a 4 so let's subtract this we have what now we subtract into you know, 2 can't subtract 4, so we have to borrow a 1. And when you are borrowing a 1, you are working in base 5. That 1 is 5. So 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 minus 4 is what? A 3. And we bring down 1. 4 in 31, can it go? Yes, we have this. That's 4 times 4 in base 5. is 31 base 5. So it will go how many times? 4 times. 4 times this will be what? 31. So let's do this subtraction here. We have a 0. And let's bring down our 4. And 4 in 4, how many times will it go to go 1? This times this, 4. And we have 0. So our answer is what? 1, 4, 1 in base 5. Here we have another example here is 3, 4, 2, base 5 divided by 4, base 5. So Now, 4 in 3 won't go, and 4 in 34, how many times will it go? It will go 4 times, because this is 31, and this is 40, so it will be 4 times. So, 4 times 4 in base 5 is what? 31. Subtract this 4 minus this will give us a 3. Let's bring down our 2. 4 in 32 will be still what? 4. So, we have 4. And we have 4 times 4, that's what, 31. When we subtract this, we have 1. We can't still bring down anything. So this is the remainder. So our answer for this is what? 44 base 5, remainder 1. Now this is another example. But this now is in base 8. So what do we need to do? We need to create the base 3 times table in base 8. So how do we do this? We say 3 in base 8 times zero is what zero three in base eight times one is what it will still be three base eight since it's not greater than eight three in base eight times two is what six base eight three in base eight times three in base eight will give us what let me put this here it will give us what nine and nine is what eight nine is greater than eight so it has to, it, we can't just write nine here so we write one or number eight will go in nine one times and it will remember what one so three times three in base eight is what 11 base eight now we also have here three in base eight times four base eight what will it give us this is what 12 eight in 12 is still one time remember what four three multiply by five in base 8, this will give us 15. 8 in 15, how many times 1? Remember what? 7. Base 8. So 3 multiplied by 6. In base 8, what would this give us? This will give us what? 18. 3, uh, 18 in 18 would is how many times? 2 times. Remember what? 2. And 3, this is quite long, but I just have to do it with you so you understand it well. 3 in base 8 multiplied by 7 in base 8, which is 21. 8 in 21 is how many times? It will still be 2 times, remember what? 5. So 25 base 8. So 3 in base 8 multiplied by 8 in base 8, we have what? 24. 8 in 24 is how many times? 3, remember what? 0. So this is our timetable for 3 in base 8. So let's do this division here. I can start this here. 
story and maximizing the space this way just to make us to help us to follow follow our walkings through the examples through for better understanding so here what do we have we have five six three two in base eight dividing three so here three can go in five yes how many times one one times this would be a three let's subtract this so we have what five mod minus three that is what a two bring down what uh six three in 26 how many times can it go uh it's definitely a seven times right so let's write the seven seven times three in base eight is what 25 what base eight we're not going to write it that's going to make our walking cumbersome so this is zero six minus five is what one drop down our three three in 13 how many times will it go it will go three times right that's three times three year 11 this is 14 is greater than 13 so we we'll write three three times this will be what 11 base 8 now let's subtract this we have what two and bring down two down and three in base eight in uh, 22 will give us how many times six times because three in base eight times six base eight is what 22 base eight so this will be what six times six times this is what 22 so this is zero our answer is one seven three six in base what eight thank you for staying tuned to destiny to win tutorials see you in our next video where i will also treat on binary division you are destined to win please like share subscribe to our channel and if you have any topic you need me to treat please feel free to send a request send an email i would treat it like this one thank you also um, christopher for making a request for this video you are destined to win bye